on six. The business of selling do-it-yourself gun kits without serial numbers here in Central Florida. People call those ghost guns. Yeah, it's big business and it's perfectly legal, but already law enforcement says it's starting to see unserialized and untraceable guns show up at crime scenes. News 6's Eric Von Enk is live at one of the stores selling these so-called ghost gun kits at Stone Mountain in Deland. So Eric, what's this all about? Matt, it all comes down to one of these. Usually you'll see these stamped with a serial number somewhere on the side like this. You can see the numbers right here. But you are allowed to take this and build it into one of these, a fully functional AR-15, legally if you do it at home and it's for personal use. Deep inside an AR-15 is the heart of the gun. You have the lower receiver. A lower receiver is what this aluminum block is called. Where the bullets and the trigger go. This is the one piece on the entire firearm like this or all of these that you would have to do a background check. The lower receiver is what the ATF regulates because it's the only thing that makes the firearm actually go bang. But if the receiver is only partially manufactured, say 80%, then it's not regulated and does not need a serial number. They're completely the same, ready to go, but you cannot assemble it until you mill that pocket out. Luke Waples, the manager here at Stone Mountain Golden Guns, used to build lower receivers and now sells them, along with many other gun dealers. We found at least six in Volusia County offering 80% lower receivers for as little as $30. But remember, this piece of aluminum is still 20% unfinished. It still has to be milled or carefully drilled out assembled with the rest of the AR-15 parts that you can also buy on the internet legally. Gas tube, gas block, all your upper receiver kits, bolt carrier group, charging handle. Parts that aren't regulated. And then, if you did everything right, it should fire just like any other AR-15 with a serial number. The ATF says, yes, while this is legal, they are not happy about this. You'll hear from them coming up at 7 when I see you again. And also consider this. If the entire kit that it takes to turn this into one of these, again, everything together costs around $1,500, about the same price as one of these, why do it? Well, obviously, it's not about the money. I'll also get into that, Matt, when I see you again coming up at 7.